First question from Milana Rizzo, go ahead. Dustin, how does the recent news about Clayton Kershaw being scratched with back spasms and Tony getting a start today change your plan moving forward in terms of your usage? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I would assume that it stays the same. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is going to be moving forward, though. Uh, I was just informed to be hot last night, so I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be moving forward, but I'm sure it's not going to change too much. How much are you relishing in the role of kind of knowing what you're going to be doing in terms of, you know, perhaps coming out of that bullpen either as a side session or eating up some innings? I mean, it was the same for you in the DS that happened yesterday. How much comfort do you take in that pattern? No, I, I'm completely comfortable in there. I mean, like being in the bullpen last year really, really helped me with being able to create a routine kind of sort of thing, being in the bullpen. So I'm completely comfortable being there and I'm completely comfortable being a starter. So whatever, whatever role the team needs, I'm going to be able to play. In that dugout, when you were watching Victor Gonzalez pitch, you had some sincere emotion when he got that key strikeout. How big has he been for this bullpen for you guys? No, he's, he's stepped up huge. He's been a phenomenal key to our team and success. I mean, he's been, he's been huge being able to come in and get some outs, and he's been completely dominant all year. What was your initial reaction, Dustin, when you found out that Clayton was being scratched? I mean, he's obviously such a huge piece to this team. No, I mean, it, it's definitely a, it's definitely one of those things you got to think about. I mean, he, he's, he's been completely dominant all year. He's been an ace. He's back to his, he's back to his form and being completely dominant. I mean, he's, he's definitely a leader and a key guy to our group and uh, just hope that he's going to be able to come back. Why is Tony Gonsolin the man for the job? Uh, he, he was ready to go. I mean, he had, he was lined up. I mean, he was, uh, he was going to throw long. Uh, during the break, but he got he got time off and um, he had plenty of time off to get ready and he was ready to go. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. Dustin, Andrew said yesterday that uh, they've had to hold you back at times during these playoffs because you want to go so often. Do you believe that changes, and do you feel like uh, you're going to try to continue to make that case? No, I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm ready to go whenever, whenever my name's called. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that bounces back pretty quick, so if I'm needed, I'm going to be able to throw whenever that, whenever that time comes. So if I'm needed tonight, I'm ready to go. If I'm not, then I'll be ready the next time my name's called. Thanks. Next question is from Sam Bloom. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, I, I'm curious, just because you're, you're kind of pitching back at home, if you can kind of recall, um, you know, w when you played in Northwest High School, I know that not a lot of schools in the area necessarily recruited you right away. What do you kind of remember about that process and just, you know, what, what you've accomplished since then? Well, no, I was, I was a very late bloomer in high school, so I didn't really get a lot of velo until, until like mid-senior year, so... I really didn't talk to a lot of colleges until then. So, I mean, it was very, very slow. And then it kind of all happened within like a couple months. So it was definitely a whirlwind of emotions with it being college teams and pro teams talking to me. So I'm, it was definitely a whirlwind, but it was fun. What, what does it kind of mean to be kind of having this experience, uh, you know, right in your, you know, right in your backyard? No, it's exciting. I mean, I grew up watching, watching the Rangers play across the street and being able to play in their new ballpark when it opens is is a really cool feeling. I mean, it would have been cool to play in, in the other one, but I mean, this is, it's super cool being back home and being able to be around family to come to the games, especially now. So it's definitely been a lot of fun. And then lastly, just uh, Clayton, I think he threw a, a perfect game against Justin Northwest, probably when you were like 10 or 11 years old. I mean, do you guys, have you guys ever talked about that? I'm not sure if you were at that game or not, but uh, you know, has that ever come up? Uh, yeah, I talked about it a lot with, with some of my high school buddies when we were in high school. And then it was like the first or second time I had initially met Kirsch, I brought it up and he kind of laughed about it and chuckled. And it was definitely a good combo starter for sure. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, have you spoken to Tony since he got the news that he was starting? Sort of what, what did he say? What's he thinking right now? 
No, I mean, yeah, I've talked to him. Uh, he's excited. I mean, he's just excited to get back on the mound. He's had a couple weeks off, so I mean, he's excited to be up there, and he was excited that his name got called whenever, whenever the news came out. So um, he's ready to go. What have you noticed that's different about the playoffs, pitching in in the postseason as opposed to regular season, which you guys have have had success, but you know the postseason is a little different. I mean, everything is just it means more. I mean, if if we lose, we we go home. I mean. We got to win to stay in it. So I mean, that's that's the biggest key right now. We just gotta we gotta come out with a dub. So whatever the whatever is called upon us, we need to go out and execute what what we're in there to do. So I mean, we got to go in and do our job, and and that's it. And you you started off um, this conversation by saying that you that you don't think your job's gonna change for the series. What is your job for the series? Do you know what's gonna happen in the next few days for you? Whatever they call upon. I mean, I'm I'm ready to go. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Dustin, you, you say you're ready and you're comfortable either way, but do you like being kind of a wild card weapon on that pitching staff? It, it honestly doesn't matter to me. As long as, as long as I'm being able to be used and be put in the games in important parts and they feel like it's a good spot for me to be in and I'm able to go in and get some outs, then that's what I'm going to do. Has anyone – had? you know, any point leading up to this kind of drawn a picture for you of what that is? Uh, no, I mean, it's it's really just been kind of be ready, and then if something changes, we'll let you know. Thanks. Next question is from Scott Braun. Go ahead. Dustin, what do you remember from when you filled in for Clayton Kershaw on opening day, and how did that shape your season? No, I mean, that was huge for me. Uh it kind of kind of started things off because I wasn't going to be on the roster to open the year. So uh, it kind of opened up a spot for me to come in and kind of show my stuff and kind of show why I deserve to be up. And uh, it it played out in my favor to be able to stay up all year. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, um, I imagine that you were used pretty carefully throughout your minor league career. When did you realize that your arm was pretty resilient and could bounce back quickly and is there anything that you do from a preparation standpoint that sets you up to be resilient like that no I mean it, it was it was always like that uh, as a starter so I mean I I never really got super sore as other guys did so I was always able to to bounce back and come back and throw um, pretty hard day two and day one and so it was it's always been kind of it's just body to body it kind of changes so I mean I was very blessed with with recovery. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Stephen Hawking. Hey, Dustin, when you guys, um, obviously you'd rather be playing in Dodger Stadium and with you and Clayton and Max, you guys at, at all talk about being able to do this close to home or is it just so different because of the bubble and the fact that it's not the same stadium you guys grew up going to games to? Uh, well, I mean, it's still exciting being this close to home and being able to compete and have our have our friends and family come. But, I mean, it is – it is still different because not as many can come and it, you can't see them. So being, being this close and not being able to see family is always, it always sucks, but at least knowing that they're watching and they're in spirit, if they can't be, then it's, it's still exciting.